Welcome to Epcot. It is Festival of the Arts and we are here to partake in the eating of the lobster poutine. Mean. And look at things. Look at these. And then look at, look at this matches these. And oh, oh my goodness. Also, I've seen it, but I haven't talked about it. But it's right here. It's right there. Isn't that just beautiful? Look at the sun reflecting off it. Oh, right there. Wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah, just like that. I am so excited. I've had some things here already, um, but I have not had them and savored them and shared them with you guys. So I think it'd be fun. I was trying to see how long I could last without putting my jacket on and actually wear like, you know, the dress around. I have lasted to Spaceship Earth. And of course, no trip to Epcot is complete, whether it's the art festival, food and wine, or flower and garden, without taking a quick little glance at the beautiful bacon wall. How glorious. Look, Disney's caught on. Photo pass right here at the bacon wall. That way you don't have to take pictures of yourself. And nothing says Festival of the Arts like a quick ride on test track. And then I was thinking about like what the abbreviation for Festival of the Arts is and it's Farts. Festival? It'd be Faux Arts, but it's kind of like just Farts. This car sounds like a go-kart or a lawnmower or something like not running correctly. Okay, honestly, I'm like freaking out a little bit because it really does sound like something's wrong with it and it's too late. Like there's no turning back now. There's no turning back now. Out. The capability test. Oh my goodness, it's vibrating so much that I can feel like my feet going numb. I'm a little scared, but you know what? Listen to it. I'm like, we're gonna blow up. Something's gonna happen here. And I'm gonna catch it on vlog and hopefully someone finds the camera and then takes the memory so you guys can have a memory of me, of my last ride on Test Track. I go out, the car's starting to smell, I'm really scared of not Okay, do you guys hear that now? Our car sounds horrible. Oh wow, when did Epcot get a Ferrari? Nice. Well, it looks like we survived. Um, we survived our last test track ride we were ever going to um, have, which is great. So now we'll head over to World Showcase because we made it. Oh, we made it, and I knew we would. Not at all. I was now. I don't know how much art I can film being serious, but I do have something I want to show you guys that's very, very important. If you're looking for a very affordable bedside table for all your loved ones or anyone, I don't know, whoever you're buying for, even yourself. This is only $37,000. So, something super cool that I love very much is these like butterfly wall things. They're really awesome and they're like all over and there's a figment one kind of like on the way to figment and the best of all. Would you look at that? Is that not amazing? Ugh. Look at how cute this little bush garden is with all these little figments in here and the rainbows and figments and Epcot things and flowers and I just love farts. And then down here there's like these other wall art poster things and I'm gonna go show you guys those. They're really cool. They're like after the rides here. Okay, here they are. Look at this. How amazing are these? Look at the Spaceship Earth one. Um, beautiful. This is the land, like the hot air balloons that like when you walk in there, you walk in this door here and then beautiful deer. Horizons, which I mean, come on, amazing. Horizon. And then it's the universe. <gasps> Look, he's got glasses. That's not glasses. And then finding Nemo. And then Figment. I'd hang that right above my bed. And then more Figment. And then, of course, they have these like they do every year. But there is no photo pass this year taking pictures of you in them. So you kind of just got to wing it. And if you're alone, 
Um, I guess you could take a selfie. Now I'm not gonna go around to like every stand and show you guys what is at all the stands. There's good vloggers that will show you that. I'm just gonna show you what I know I like. Maybe you guys will like it. I don't know, but what I'm about to show you next is the best thing I've ever had at any of the festival stands. Lobster, lobster bisque cheese, pickled jalapenos, and citrus cream. And I don't like any of that, but the combination of all of that together is amazing. It is $10, but if it's like the only thing you get for the day, I recommend it like a million times over. And I don't even like lobster, and I don't like pickles, jalapenos, or citrus cream. And how you know it's a festival, you're eating off of a trash can. And this is it. Do you see that? I'm trying to give you a commercial like rolling around. Ooh. Let's give it a try. That one fell. since I did not clarify or say where I was, those lobster fries are at the refreshment port. And like I said, they are so stinking good. Wow, this is like a wedding pavilion in here. If you're having some wild, crazy festival of the arts, Epcot themed wedding, this is the place to have it. And wait, where is everything? I really do have like a hard time filming all these things because one time I was filming a festival of the arts like maybe four years ago we were and they were like no filming so now ever since then I've been super self-conscious about like filming artwork so I try not to but I want to show you guys so much stuff. Do you hear that? It scared me actually. The like loudspeaker went on and it was like please welcome and I jumped in the air and I was like wow what's that? Look at all the figment things. Oh, look at all the festival figment thingy majiggies. Oh, I thought it actually said farts. Well, it does if you take the F arts. Look at that. Figment loves pigment. Huh. And back here we have more stuff. I was actually, sorry, but I was expecting nothing back here, but there is things back here. Wonder where we can get these fancy shoes. Look how cute this figment changing photo colors is. I'm colorblind so I can't really see it, but... And I am definitely getting one thing from in here. And it's not ratatouille, and it's not charcuterie. It is something I've always wanted to try. Now she's playing my favorite Mary Poppins song. Oh, look at it! Oh, 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 oh. I love it. I've always wanted one. I'm gonna go paint it. Wow! Well, 
thank you so very much. Music to Mary Poppins, which we all love so much. And of course, that was composed by Richard and Robert Sherman, who brought us so many beautiful, uh, beautiful like songs. Like uh, Rudolph? Well, uh, Mary Poppins, of course, went to okay, the it. where those songs were performed, along with any... All the icings taste the same. It's all right. It's not a beer garden cookie. I love cookies. Just as I was leaving, she goes, and one of her best, most wonderful, amazingest songs ever is When You Wish Upon a Star, and that is my favorite song on this earth. Out of every song that ever exists besides Celine Dion, my heart will go on. Oh, oh no. I want this played at my funeral, just like this. Meal, here they are. Morocco Cobre, right in concert. And then here in the American Pavilion, they have even more of the Columbus artwork, which is amazing. We're just gonna do some Frozen over and over and over. And the music just got super intense over here. I am sitting right in the middle because it is soaked and I just sat my butt right on it. Stain. It's like when you take one of your glasses out of the dishwasher and uh, well, I don't know. It's wild. Well, I will. Oh, she does. Oh, thanks. Oh, really? It sounds beautiful. Okay. Bye. Okay, so I was wet as I got off the last time. I'm dripping wet now. Like, it's ringing out. I don't even know how that happened. I've never wanted to hug something so much. Look at this art. This is definitely contemporary, a little bit more like modern art, but nonetheless, it's really nice. Boom. So the next thing that we got here is the Beef Wellington, and it comes with purple broccoli, red broccoli, and a garden vegetable salad, and it's not even mine, so. All right, I'm not gonna hold this up all day. Me neither. <laughs> Ready? Yes, sir. Uh, am I backlit really bad? No, you're pretty. Go okay. Ahead. Ready? Oh, freeze. Stop it, stop. <laughs> She's laughing at me already. I'm laughing Did you already pause it? I paused. This time it's sliced, so it's like a bigger beef wellington that they've sliced up. Let's give it a try. Got some of that demi glaze on there. Let's see how it tastes. <laughs> this is where the voiceover goes. Yeah, I, I think we've been sitting here filming a bunch. 
Um, it's just, it's not warm at all, which would make it so much better. So it's kind of disappointing on the temperature, but overall, the flavor itself is really good. So for $8.25, um, after having some of the items that we've had already today, for $8.25, I think this is uh, probably not something that I'll get again, even though they're the flavors, because it's just not enough there to, uh, to justify spending the eight bucks. But uh, overall, flavor good just needs to be better temperature. My arm was literally shaking. So it's going to be my turn to give it a go, and um, we're gonna see how I like it. It's really cold. It tastes like turkey. Like turkey. The beef is not Wellington. Well, get it? Beef is not well. Now, something that has really nothing to do with my vlog. Corey is going to get the red wine braised short beef, beef short ribs with parsnip puree, broccolini, baby tomatoes, and aged balsamic for $8 in Germany. Look at how beautiful that is. And then, not talking about Corey, I'm talking about that sky up there. I said not talking about Corey. You always mishear me. We've had this one in the past and it was delicious. I keep stealing Corey and Stephanie's video to add to mine because I didn't buy enough food. We've had this one before in the past and we really enjoyed it. And for $8, um, just at first glance, it is a decent size. The plate's got a little bit of weight to it. Um, I've already kind of picked at the short rib and I mean, it's just fall apart. Let's see how it tastes. I know that balsamic glaze is so good. It is good. so good, and I'll tell you why. Wait, 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 start over. But the star of this dish is that red wine uh, demi glaze. I'm telling you now, there's so much flavor packed in that. I mean, it's kind of coated over the potato. Oh, I'm sorry. There's the fat. There's the fat. Yeah, okay. She's going to get money off of this, too. That's <laughs> what she said. <laughs> oh, my God, I don't know what that is. Are those mashed potatoes? Parsnips. You're right. Well, tried something new today. Tried that. There's a fire out here. I do see a little fire. Look, look at this fire. It's not a fire. It is so totally stuffy. Is that a fire? No, it's a reflection. She even just said, I do see a flame. No, you that see? is a reflection. Corey, go, go. No, it's a fire. What are you looking at? I'm looking at your screen. Right, right there, here. that little thing right. No, it's a fire. What you talking about? Look at this art. It's, um, it smells popcorn. Oh, I gotta go. Look how pretty at nighttime-ish. So I have left Epcot, obviously. I parked at Saratoga and I'm going to walk over to Disney Springs. I didn't even say what I was doing, but I'm doing it. And it's open because look at the balloon and the pretty sky. So we have actually ended up at the finest place in Disney Springs for dinner. Everybody always wants this, hard to get reservations. And we're here with my beautiful friend Jillian again. You can't see the smile. I felt there. the smile. Yeah. Yeah, it's really hard to get reservations here. We booked them seven months in advance, but we're here. Rainforest Cafe here in Orlando is one of Orlando's finest dining cuisines. As you enter, you are entered through the gift shop where you check in and find so much beautiful merch. Rainforest Cafe is a favorite among the locals and among many tourists. Finding a reservation at Rainforest Cafe can take up to six months in advance. So if you or your party is interested in dining at Rainforest Cafe, every 20 minutes you can be greeted with a thunderstorm. Watch out for your little ones, they might get terrified. Make sure when you stop in, you say hi to Grandmother Willow. She is always ready for a conversation with you. One of the finest things about Rainforest Cafe is their enormous gift shop. Rainforest Cafe has a gift for everyone in your life. Daughters, brothers, moms, ex-girlfriends, Uncle Aaron. Do you like butts? Well, you're in luck here at Rainforest Cafe. Do you like fish? Well, swim your way on over to Rainforest Cafe. The atmosphere compares to the dining that you would get in a French cuisine. Grandma and Grandpa will love the atmosphere of an elephant in your ear while you're dining. I got so excited about this. It is thunderstorming. I got so excited, I threw my sugar in the iced tea just so I could film Jillian with the thunderstorm behind her. You look terrified. Oh no! No, it's okay. 
you don't need to hide. I'm not doing that okay, so Jillian got the tropical getaway. How do you like it? It's very good. Oh, good, good. Yeah, I'm liking it a lot. I have a rainbow kula, rainbow kulata. Uh huh. I ordered it because I thought it was going to look like a rainbow because online the picture shows a rainbow drink. Yeah, so this is what I thought I was getting here. It says Rainforest Cafe Rainbow Culotta. That is not what I've got here. So this is the Rainbow Culotta that is not as pictured. I just tastes like a strawberry banana smoothie. It's not bad. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. I ordered the Caesar salad. And it's not with romaine. It's iceberg lettuce. It's um... Not what I thought in my head I was going to see, but we're going to try it anyway. Strange. Well, Joanne's nuggets were really good. Yep. My salad wasn't the best one I ever had, but it also wasn't the worst. So it really wasn't that horrible. I enjoyed it. I had fun. So now we're going to go get some more dinner. So Jillian and I decided to stop off and get some, some, some uh, hummingbird, cake. hummingbird cake from Homecoming. Look at this. Ah, what is this? This is called hummingbird cake. This is coconut. No. Oh. <laughs> it's like carrot cake, but without carrot. Okay. So okay. pineapple. Cheesecake for or not cheesecake cheese cream cheese frosting Got it Wait, it's banana and pine It's banana and pineapple pineapple and cheesecake frosting and there's some raspberry drizzle. Oh, oh I don't like You don't like the cream cheese frosting? No, whatever is on it the raspberry drizzle. Okay, so I don't like that Let me okay. taste the cake I like the cake. I don't like the raspberry. Drizzle. Mm -hmm. No. So I decided to take a second and walk into World of Disney and um, oh my goodness. Look at it. Look at these. Little Dalmatian. They have so many like little Gracie things. And then I could get Gracie a little dog bowl that has her inside of it. Oh, I can't. There. Oh, little monorail dog toys. What on? What is this thing? This is a cat toy. This is $17.99. I could make one for $2. Okay, for those of you who know me, you know I wear these shirts very often. I need one of each. This one is Pluto and it says Main Street USA. This one is Mini. Okay, the mini one says, the mini one says, I don't know what it says on it. Oh, it's just mini eating ice cream and it says mini mouse. mouse. Okay. And then they got Mickey Mouse and Mickey's says, it just says Mickey Mouse. And then they have Goofy and it says Frontierland. So yeah, I'm getting one of each. So, so. So the flannels, let them go, are 60 a piece, okay? Just so you guys know. And I got these doggy jammies too. Those are, those are cats. Oh, they're dogs and cats. Dogs and cats, Disney dogs and cats. Everything I'm grabbing is getting torn from me. Like, like, I know Gracie would look so good in this because she's like, kind of like, I know she's like a girly girl, but this would look so cute on her. Oh, oh, I'm checking out and look at that. 15 puppies. Mama, I'm hungry.